Well, police say they did evacuate neighbors as a precaution, but they say they were most worried about the danger that Gillen posed to himself. They said that they tried to convince him to surrender, but it didn't work out the way they had hoped. What started as an argument between a married couple, authorities say, turned violent. A shot was fired towards her vehicle. And where was the shot coming from? Uh, from the attic of, of the residence. State police say Jeremiah Gillen had the gun, and inside the car was not only his wife, but two three-year-old boys. I'm not sure that the, the suspect knew who was in the vehicle, or, or um, I'm not sure what his intentions were um, at, at that point, other than getting her attention, I suppose. His wife managed to drive away, only to be stopped a short time later by police. And while she was being interviewed, her Lancaster home was surrounded by officers. They set up a perimeter, evacuated nearby residents, and called in the SWAT team. Police say they were able to get Gillen on the phone. He had made some statements indicative of some trouble that he was having um, and that, that um, he, he may harm himself. Uh, that, so that was our biggest concern, was trying to convince him that he didn't want to do that. Around 6.30, they lost contact. Hours later, sent a robot into the house and found Gillen. He had shot himself in the living room. Police say the two had a history of arguments, and after a recent arrest, Gillen was ordered to have no contact with his wife, but it was unclear if that order had been lifted. The state police say that those two boys, those kids, they are safe. As of last night, they were staying with a relative. Reporting live in the newsroom, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.